All right, Phil, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you, Dave. Tell me a little bit about you know what you came to talk about and why you came here to talk about it. Well, I was really excited to be invited to speak at uh, the Game Design Expo, and I uh, came to speak about uh, basically leading creative teams. So my, my talk was entitled uh, Steering the Rocket, and basically it's the idea that you, know, you try and build a team that's very empowered and passionate about what they're doing, and then you have to find a way to steer them and manage them afterwards. And it's really about um, identifying sort of the, 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 the box for people to work within, but not getting in too noodly and telling them how they should do their job. You tell them uh, what you need, but not how to do it. And what you end up with is, is uh, creative teams that are, are, are you know clearly aligned behind goals that are that are identified and understood but they don't ever have to abdicate their own personal kind of creativity and passion they, and they continue to feel empowered as they're doing their work so if you had one piece of advice for somebody new to the game industry a fresh designer out of school coming into that type of environment what would that be the most important thing for a game designer is to have really strong communication skills to be able to you know work with other people to be able to uh, you know be open to accepting a vision and direction from from someone um, and but also not sacrifice that feeling of sort of empowerment and the passion that they're bringing the creativity all the fresh energy and ideas that they have to solving those problems so it's about finding the balance and understanding that as a new as a new person in the industry you may not have all the direct sort of influence that you would like to have and that's a process that you have to work towards but that you have a, uh, you can have a major positive impact on, on the project that you're working on by sort of doing, you know, bringing all your energy and creativity to the specific problems that you're being given. So coming back to the Game Design yeah. Expo several years later now, you know, tell us what your impressions are and what you think the value of an event like this is for the community. I mean, I think it's really great um, for uh, aspiring developers to have a little bit more contact with people who are working in the industry. I know when I was an aspiring developer, I took a lot of, um, I got a lot of energy and a lot of, uh, you know, positive uh, experiences from talking to people who were already working in the industry, a lot of encouragement. It helped me to have a much clearer idea of what it was like to work in the industry, so I understood what I was getting myself into. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important for that sort of those conversations to happen. And I think um, the Game Design Expo is a great opportunity for that to happen in sort of a structured way where there's a, an exchange of ideas and, and us developers are able to come to in front of an audience that is you know really eager for, for our knowledge and, and get an amazing reception for the things that we want to share. With well, thank you so much for being a part of our Game Design Expo. Expo again, and we look forward to seeing you again in the future. Thank you, Dave.